This is one of the first lenses you might buy, or may have overlooked because of its price or photo quality. But it's not always about the optical performance. When you just want to shoot and forget it, this is one of the most enjoyable lenses Fujifilm makes. The first thing you'll notice about the 23mm f2 is its mini size. It basically turns your XT camera into the ergonomics of the X100 line. You might have some better lenses in your kit, like the 16mm f1.4 or the 35mm f1.4, but I personally always gravitated back toward this one because of its weightless footprint. With some of the bigger lenses, which especially don't quite balance well on the XT models, they end up being a hassle to bring out with you. The compact design paired with the X-T3 makes bringing this camera with you an effortless choice. And that's half the battle of shooting. From personal experience, my 16mm f1.4 and other lenses just collect dust. Small size truly is a difference between having fun and not having fun. Optically, this lens has a unique formula. The results for photography leave something to be desired, as f2 is too soft and there is noticeable purple fringing. Images are relatively muddier and dirtier compared to the newer lenses, though some might prefer this character. If you don't mind that you won't be able to shoot extreme shallow depths of field, I find that this lens pairs well when you add grain and can emulate film and nostalgic looks. There's something special about this lens, that it renders creamier, albeit less detailed textures. It has this pastel look, but sharpens up significantly at f2.8. And this isn't always a bad thing, though you may have trouble with focus and cropping in. But I really consider this a video lens. The softness and roll-off make human subjects aesthetically pleasing, particularly the way it organically renders skin. Though I essentially locked this lens at f2.8, it looks great even at f5.6 or f11. Contrast is also strong, giving texture depth and dimension. In terms of performance, the video autofocus tracking is more reliable than even some of the LM lenses. For the X-T3, I kept autofocus tracking at zero and negative three speed, so that even when tracking slips in lower lighting conditions, it locks back on gradually in cinematic, focus racking fashion. Though, when I used it on the X-H2S, I had worse tracking success. This is not so much of a review as it's more of a love letter to the 23mm f2. It is one of the most enjoyable lenses to use in the Fujifilm lineup. The first one I bought, and I always prefer the roll off in videos compared to the 60mm. More and more do we see size and weight being part of the recipe for fun. 
It's also one of the cheapest lenses you can buy, despite being one of Fujifilm's best lenses for video. Smaller, lighter, affordable gear is why we chose a cropped body. As Fuji lenses get larger and more expensive, one begins to question, why not go full frame? I believe this lens is what APS-C was designed for. Image quality has suitable rendering for cinematography. Color is vivid, roll-off is organic, contrast is high, and is never too sharp. I shot over 50 YouTube videos with a 23mm f2 over my first years of learning cameras. It may not be the best lens for photography, but for video, this will always be my favorite lens from Fujifilm.